Uh, here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to an episode of Big Ton Plays Dead Cells. So this is Dead Cells. If you didn't see my other Let's Plays on it, you can check them out. There's a few on my channel. This is an early access game over on Steam. As you can see, it's a platformer game. You get one life to live. So if you die, you, you, know, you have to start over. And you basically try to see how far you can get each time you play. I've played the game before, but they just released an update called Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. So I wanted to do an episode and see if I notice anything that just sticks out as being changed. There's supposed to be some new content, like some new new areas to go. So I'm going to check that out. Give me a little bit of lore here. I always like to play with the shield because you get like little kind of like a temporary invulnerability type protection. It was very tricky before. I don't I don't know if it's been adjusted or not. I already got a blueprint, so that's cool. This is a little different right here. Yeah. This starting area here. It wasn't... It was usually just a straight run on this part. You didn't have to do any climbing or anything before. So that's kind of neat. Ugh, man. Been a while since I had to fight those guys. I don't remember him jumping that far. Uh, he won't grab... That was weird. He wouldn't grab that ledge. Look at that. Yeah, he's like... Does not want to grab that ledge. I'm noticing a few different things already. Just maybe it's been a while since I've played them, just kind of rusty. These are usually worth getting. Don't have any skills yet, but skills are really powerful. I don't use those. So these things open up a... Like a secret portal and basically takes you to a challenge where... You try not to get hit. If you get hit, it kicks you out. So it's like a free hit because it's, you know, a challenge. Like there's spikes everywhere and tons of, tons more enemies. It's way harder than the normal map. Just collecting gold. So the gems convert directly into gold. Can't afford any of this stuff. So I was able to block that guy jumping at me. Oh, 
Ah, I'm that wrong. Give ourselves a bonus chest that has a grenade two in it. Twin daggers. So the third strike's a guaranteed critical hit. Reflected the bomb back. That's a change that was in a, a different one. One of their updates made it so that you could reflect those bombs back. If you did, it would damage them. It didn't always damage them. It would just explode harmlessly away. Can't get to that yet. So it seems that hasn't changed. So if you're in the middle of swinging and you pop the shield, it doesn't cancel your animation. So you cannot be swinging if you want to throw the shield out there. That's our next area. We need to finish exploring. Because I started a new map, I can't use this or that little vine thing. Yeah, I don't have the runes that are used to activate those. I think that was the whole map. And now that I think about it, there's only one way to go. Maybe it's because I can't do the vine that I don't have the second route. I think that's what it is. Yeah, if I had the thing to activate the vine, I would be able to go to another area. But I know in one of the patch notes, they mentioned that they, like, made it so that these uh, ne next areas were, like, more appropriate for, like, level 2, level 3. Before, when you, you know, when you got into the map, you would find one and it, you could go to either one. But now they're kind of set up in a way that makes them feel like it's like, you know, this one should be level two. Whereas if I have access to the other one, that one should feel like le a level three. So if like I didn't pick up any, you know, bonus items or extra health or anything like that, I'd get my butt kicked, so... So this is the permanent upgrade system. This stuff is permanent. So like even if you die, this stuff stays the same. This refills the flask as well as heals you. So I have a health potion now so I can heal once. If I remember right, there is a, yep, there is a secret hidden over there. These little birds are so annoying.
If that isn't a change that's in this update, but these little birds here in the very beginning when I first got the game. Did you see the little indicator as to which direction he was going to charge? See it? Whenever that would come on the screen, if you rolled through them, they would go that way. Like where the little indicator pointed at. Now they can like, if you roll past them and if they haven't actually started to travel yet, like doing their little dash, they will change directions and come at you. Even though the indicator pointed a different way. Kind of silly they have that indicator actually now that I think about it. Like it's supposed to indicate the direction they're going to go. But yet, they can go a different way. Alright, get out of there. I think this might go to a... another skill up little up oh, a shop unfortunately that stuff's way expensive now can't get a greed shield Torches are actually pretty good. R one to open, not not throwing the bomb to open. That was kind of a bad placement for that thing. Like here, hold a grenade. Did I forget to mention that I pulled the pin already? Ah, uh, another one of these. And hidden behind it's another upgrade. Yeah, the bomb's strong enough to one-shot those dudes. So that's where you get the rune, so I'll have to fight an elite. I used my health potion, so this is going to be tricky.
Oh, nope. Got him. Ooh, that was close. Three health. Yeah, my guy's limping and bleeding everywhere. See all the blood coming out of him? He's wounded, that's for sure. He's got three hit points left. That means, like, the next hit. Oh, they've changed the graphic of the, that again. Unless it's the fact that I'm wounded. Oh, here we go. It didn't one-shot him. Back already? Uh, this is where the game explains the, that the maps are procedurally generated. So each time you run a map, it's going to be different. that's going to do it for this episode. If you liked it, click the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Post your comments down in the comment section and check the description for links to social media and ways to support my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.